In Glasgow, Montana, where sky meets earth, engineers, test pilots, field crews, and many others collaborate for what's called community noise testing in a place far from noise pollution and known for ideal testing conditions. Out here in northeastern Montana, um, it's very low ambient noise, and that's, that's crucial for the testing that we're doing out here. So starting with low ambient noise conditions allows you to pick up the most accurate data from the, the noise of the airplane is actually producing itself. And it's here where the 737 MAX has something to prove, redefining what it means to be a quiet airplane. We will not be able to fly into certain airports if we can't meet the modern noise requirements. And the MAX is designed to be significantly less than those requirements and 40% quieter than today's next generation 737, benefiting more than just FAA and international regulations. What's well, so important, obviously, just from a community standpoint, not adding to the noise pollution. In in order to meet certification requirements, the site is prepared weeks in advance for community noise testing, where dozens of specialized microphones are installed just beyond the runway. Up close, a standard microphone amplifies my voice. But take a step back and you might not hear me so well. But a microphone like this will pick up everything from the sound of a whisper to even a bee flying by. As we're taking the data, we have to make sure that we measure just the airplane and not any sort of contaminant noise. The, the intent is to, to gather all that data so that our uh, noise engineers can do their analyses and ensure that we are, can certify the airplane. On test day, everything must be perfect, including atmospheric pressure, temperature, and ground conditions. Zero, zero, two, launch. Okay, we're launching. With the microphone set and the teams in place, the moment arrives and the MAX is released. As ground crews listen in, every bit of engineering is put to the test. New engines mounted beneath the wings are shielded by a newly designed nacelle. So the jet exhaust noise of the engine is a big contributor to airplane noise. We designed acoustic treatment, especially for the noise signature of this engine, so that as your sound wave goes into it, there's some cancellation. There are three different airstreams of very different temperatures and the chevrons help to encourage better mixing to reduce the noise. It's all part of the design to bring the 737 MAX well below the required noise threshold. Behind this face sheet layer is a layer of honeycomb and that helps with the noise radiating out from the fan. When it encounters those chambers, it helps uh, reduce the noise. With community noise testing complete, certification is on the horizon bringing the 737 MAX that much closer to entering into service in 2017.